Good evening, Gateway Church family, and welcome to our online prayer meeting. I hope that you're doing well. I hope you've had a fantastic week so far. I'm looking forward to joining together tonight online with you to pray and call upon Jesus. Maybe you're watching this tonight and maybe you've got a prayer request. Then we as a church, we'd love to pray for you. You can send it in to us through whatever platform you're watching this on tonight or also through our website, gatewaychurchcamry.co.uk forward slash prayer requests. And please know that we'll be praying for you as a church. We're going to be continuing a moment in a moment our series called Boot Camp, preparing for the greatest battle of our lives. We're also going to be praying later on for all the different needs and the requests that have been coming in. But would you join with me and let's invite Jesus to come and meet with us wherever we're watching this from. Let's ask for answers to prayer tonight and breakthroughs for the glory and honor of his name. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, we just thank you that we can come together online as a church family to pray, to seek your face and to call upon you. And Lord, as we come together tonight, Lord, I just pray that we'll really know the help and the presence of your Holy Spirit amongst us. Lord, we just want to see your will being done. We want to see your kingdom come in. We want to see lives transformed, Lord. So Lord, I pray in your love, in your grace, reach out to us tonight, Lord. Draw near to us. Minister, I pray in your mighty name. Speak to hearts and lives tonight. Bring encouragement, bring strength to the weak tonight, Lord God. Bring healing to the sick and be glorified in it all. Lord, we thank you and ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So tonight, we're going to continue our series called Boot Camp, Preparing for the Battle of Our Lives. We've been looking at this spiritual battle that's taking place for between every single one of us. If we're a follower of Jesus, then you're involved in this warfare. So am I. And, and you know, it's between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And I'm so glad that Jesus has won this victory. He won the victory over Satan and the principalities of darkness through his death and his resurrection on the cross you know, Satan still wants to come against us as, his, as Jesus' followers. He wants to bring destruction to our lives. But Jesus has come so that we might have life and life more abundantly. And God has equipped us with everything that we need for this battle. We don't have to go into it blindly or on our own or in our own strength. But God has given us everything that we need. And before we step onto this battlefield and fight against Satan, then we need to put on the armor of God so that we might be protected against the attacks of the enemy. We need to get dressed ready for war. And so over the last few weeks, we've been looking at the armor of God. We've looked at the two first two pieces of this armor, which God has given us and which we're called to put on every single day as followers of Jesus. And so tonight, we're going to look at the third piece of armor, which God has given us, and that is the shoes of peace. Listen to what it says, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15. For shoes... Put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In Paul's day, the Apostle Paul, who wrote this passage of scripture, in his time, in his generation, the soldiers, Roman soldiers, they would have wore sandals. And at the bottom of the sandals that the Romans would have wore, they would have been hobna hobnails or, or cleats at the bottom. And the reason for that was to give them firm footedness. You know, these cleats and these hobnails would have been very much like studs that football players have or togs that, that rugby players have on the bottom of their boots. And it speaks of something that can dig into the ground so that it can give you a firm foundation when trying to push on or, foot, or move forward. That's the purpose of these togs. It gives confidence, it gives security, it gives a firm foundation speaks of somebody who wants to hold their ground. And you know, that's ex very much like the picture there that God wants for our lives. God wants us as his followers to be secure and firm. He doesn't want us to be going all over the place, wandering all over the place. He wants us to be solid and unmovable, especially when the storms of life come against us and when Satan comes against us. And that's what the part of the reason why we need to have these shoes, these shoes of peace, 
They give us this firm foundation when we root ourselves in God, when we stand on Jesus Christ, the rock of our salvation, then we can bi- and build on him, then we won't have to be afraid. We can stand firm against the attacks of the enemy. But you know, I know that whenever my relationship with God isn't right, then I do go all over the shop. I'm slipping, I'm sliding, I'm fall over, falling all over the place. God wants us to live with this godly confidence that we won't be afraid of falling away or wandering away in our faith, but that we would be secure in him. And that's where it comes from. That's why we need the shoes of peace. That's one of the reasons, you know, these shoes that God has given us, they also do something else as well. You know, shoes for the Roman soldiers, it helped give them mobility so that they could move forward on the battlefield. You know, that word they prepared in other translations is readiness. It can be translated to readiness, that you're always ready to move forward. At a moment's notice, the the Roman soldiers would be called to to maybe charge or to attack against the enemy. And that's why they had to be ready. And that's why they needed these proper shoes in order to fight. And you know, as soldiers of Jesus Christ, under the command of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us that as followers of Jesus, we need to be on duty at all times. We should always be ready, should always be alert, not only to for the enemy and what he wants to bring against our lives, but we should also be always ready and alert to share about Jesus, to share the good news of Jesus, the gospel of peace. This is our mission. This is what God wants us to do. Satan wants to stop the p- purposes of God advancing. He wants to stop the gospel going out into our world. But God has called us not to fight against people within our world, but to bring about reconciliation. We've been given the message of reconciliation. We've been given this gospel of peace, and we should be looking for opportunities to share the gospel with those around us. You know, even when we least expect it, it could be an opportunity, and we need to be ready for that. And this is where the shoes of peace come in. We need to pray and say, God, make me ready today. Not only make me secure today, but make me ready to share for you. Help me whenever people whenever people come my way, help me to share about you. Whether it's on the school ground with another parent or with a friend in school, whether it's in the hairdressers, whether it's in the supermarket, where, whether it's in your home, maybe there's an opportunity to share about Jesus. Let's pray that somebody will come into our paths and that we'll be quick and ready to respond with the good news of Jesus. Let's pray for doors to open to share the gospel. And that's why we need to put on these shoes of peace so that the kingdom of God can advance, the gospel of Jesus can move forward and Jesus can come to know, and people can come to know Jesus as their savior. And so as a, as we come to a conclusion of this message in this series, you know, as we come to a, a conclusion today, the soldier of Jesus Christ is always ready and is always poised, ready to move forward. Just like the Roman soldiers would have been, so we are to be as well in our lives. We need the shoes of peace so we can move forward and rise to the occasion and make Jesus known everywhere and every day. Amen. So I pray that this has encouraged you tonight. This is a vital piece of the armor of God that we can advance and not retreat. We can advance against Satan and his principalities and God's kingdom can advance. So I pray you've been encouraged by this word. And we're going to pray for that tonight. We're going to pray and ask God to give us opportunities, for God to give you opportunities wherever you are with your sphere of influence, that God would give you an opportunity to share about him. We're also going to pray right now for all those who sent in prayer requests to us, those who are struggling, those with needs. We're going to pray that God will answer prayer. So would you join with me and let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your word to us tonight. We thank you for this armor which you have given us, Lord, the shoes of peace, of good news, Lord Jesus. We want to be your good news people in a bad news world, Lord God. We want to be a people who are advancing your kingdom and your gospel, Lord, and not retreating or not moving backwards, Lord. We know that the enemy would love to do that, Lord, but help us to be always ready to share about you, Lord, to be always equipped to share about you with our loved ones, with our friends, with those in our sphere of influence. Lord, we thank you and ask you even this week for opportunities and boldness and courage to share about you. We thank you for this and we pray, help us to apply the shoes of peace even right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we also pray tonight for those who need a touch from you, those who are watching online right now, Lord God. Lord, those with loved ones tonight who are struggling, Lord, with sickness and illness, those who are bound by fear tonight or addictions, Lord Jesus. Lord, those who are just worried about their future, I pray in Jesus' name you will minister into every one of these situations. 
Minister to those in our congregation tonight who need a touch from you. Those who are unable to make it at this moment in time, be with them, I pray. May they know your peace, your presence, and your protection in Jesus' name. Lord, we also pray for our nation at this time. That, Lord, our land would come to know you. Every person in our communities, Lord God, right up and down Wales, would come to know you. Right up and down the Canna Valley, we pray people would find you as Lord and Saviour. Jesus, that's our heart's desire. We pray you'll continue to bless our land, bless those in leadership, Lord. Protect our nation. Lord, may this virus go in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that you are able tonight. Nothing is too difficult for you. So, Lord, we ask all of this in your name, the precious, your precious name, the name above every name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh man, well, it's been a great joy to come together and pray. And I pray that God has spoken to you and encouraged you. And I want to encourage you this week to put on the shoes of priests. Let's pray for opportunities this week. Oh man, please know as a church, we are here for you. We are praying for you. I'd look forward to seeing you again this coming Sunday, either in person or online. But I hope you have a fantastic week this week. Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.